Okay, so we're going to start with the box. And what we need to do is get our sharp knife. And you have to decide how you want your drawers to sit. So my opening is going to be on the front here. So what I'm going to do is cut this front piece out. And I'm going to seal these ends that I used to get my cereal out of. So I'm going to start at the top. And I'm just going to, I'm going to cut on the inside. I'm not going to try and get right to that edge because we can trim it up afterwards. So I'm just going to stick my knife in here. Oops. I usually use my sharper knife, but I'm going to try this one. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut across there like that. And then down the side. And again, try not to get too close to the edge because we're going to trim it later so it'll be nice and square. I'm not sure I'll kind of cut through the side or something. Like that. Okay, so we're just going to cut that right down to the bottom. There, I'll do the side. I'm going to lock my knife. There we go. There's a trick to these knives, and I always forget once you get the blade where you want it, you pull this bottom piece down and it locks it in place. I'm constantly using the knife, and the blade keeps sliding in. <laughs> my dad taught me that. Ooh. Okay. There we go. So see how this end is open because I haven't um, glued the flaps closed. So that's what we're going to do next before I cut the bottom piece off. I'm going to take my Fabri-Tac glue and I'm actually going to glue, let me just put this back in there. I'm going to glue this, these flaps back on by turning this upside down like this. Open that up. And I'm going to take my Fabri-Tac glue and I'm just going to, I'm going to show the inside here, I'm just going to glue these flaps down to each other so that they will stay secure. So I'm just going to put some glue, Fabri-Tac glue, in there. And this might be the last of my glue in my bottle. So let's get it up nice and square. And pull that flap down. And I'm going to do the same for this one. I'm going to have to get some more glue, I think. So I'm going to add some glue to this. There we go. I'll flip that back over. And then I'm going to square up my box, make sure it's nice and square. And we're going to push down those flaps. Now that's just going to hold it square. We're going to actually add um, another piece of board inside there as well to sturdy it up. So all I've done is glued those flaps down. So when you look inside your box, you have the two flaps on the side and we're going to cut this piece off. So that's going to be the opening of my drawers. So now what I do is I'm going to turn the box and lay it down this way. Make sure I'm in frame here. And I'm going to take my knife and there's actually a seam and you can see that where it's folded. I'm just going to open this knife up a bit more. And you actually want to cut very slowly right in that fold. And that's going to be the front edge of your box. So you cut right inside that seam. And just go slowly. You don't have to rush it. And you'll see that starts to cut. I'm just going to turn this so I can see it a little better. And again, there we go. There. So we've cut that whole side of the box off and that's going to be where my drawers are going. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the box and see where I didn't cut very well along that edge. You just want to pull that out, flatten it out, and you're going to cut along that fold. So that's where you'll get your nice straight edges. So you don't have to worry about getting a straight edge when you initially cut the front off because you're going to take your knife and you're going to go along that fold line right there. And we're going to cut that little excess piece off. So then we'll end up with some nice, smooth 
um, edges along here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then we're going to talk about um, adding the shelf inside. We're going to be adding some size to secure the sides and then you have to add your spacer for between the two levels of drawers. So let me go ahead and finish cutting these edges and just folding them out so that they're nice and flat. Let's do this other small one here. Trying to hold the box because it's a little flimsy. So there we go. So get that piece off, and then again, we're just going to go along this long edge here, along that fold. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be pretty even along the corners here, because we're going to be adding our packing tape along this edge to to cover it. I'm just going to turn it this way so I can see better. Where's that fold there? There we go. There. So we've cut all our edges nice and even. And I'm just going to grab my scissors. I've got a little flap here. There we go. And another one there. There. So there is cutting out your box. We've glued those two flaps down. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to make sure it's somewhat even so that when you set it down, it will sit nice and evenly. Okay, so now we're going to create what I call the, the shelf divider and then we're going to add two pieces on this side to make it more secure. So now we have to take some measurements of our box. And I always keep my pencil and a little piece of cardboard handy for our measurements. So we know the box is, I just put my ruler in and it is seven and one, four, five eighths. So it's seven and five eighths deep. And it is 11 and one eighth wide. So I'm gonna need an 11 and one eighth by a seven and five eighths piece to be my shelf in the middle. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to be cutting four pieces for the sides. So for the height of that, we need, it's about six and a half. I'm just gonna say six and a half as my, and I'll show you what we're gonna do next. So now this is where I take my chipboard and I'm just going to use some of my thinner stuff that I don't particularly, um, it's it's still it's probably about an 80 point it's i would call it medium weight it's still pretty thick if we got our two dimes out and put our two dimes along the side of it it's still smooth so it's still pretty thick chipboard it's just it looks a little more corrugated i'm going to use that for my side pieces so we're going to need to get our measurements here seven and five eighths deep is going to be, so we're more or less cutting two pieces, a uh, piece for the side like that. Okay, so we need seven and five eighths deep. And I'm going to mark it on here. Let's move this box out of the way. And I'm just going to go ahead and measure along here. And I'm going to cut this piece all the way down the side because we're going to need four pieces and I may be able to get three out of this. So again, we're going to take our sharp knife and when you're using a, um, a knife for cutting chipboard, you should always start with a clean blade. Now let me just see if this blade, it's a, you flip them over and I think that other side is a used blade. And I'm going to try and see if it'll cut. If I find any pull or snagging, then I will put a brand new blade in it. I don't know how many pieces of chipboard I've cut with this one, so let's just test it out and see. And you'll be able to tell by how many um, swipes you have to take with your knife. There, so that was only a couple there. So I'll save that for something else. So that is my, my width 
that's going to be the width. So now I need, and I said it was six and a half inches high, so I'm going to cut it at six and a half because it's going to be a little smaller than that because we're going to put that board in between. So that is my width, seven and five eighths, and we're going to go six and a half across. Or we can do it with six and a half, so three and a quarter. So let's do three and a quarter. Let's do a test run on this one. So let's cut this one at six and a half. And I'll just see if it fits the height, and then I'm going to take the width of the this chipboard out. So let's do it this way. It's always better to test it first. Okay, so there's my height. And see how it's just a little bit too big, but that's okay. That's what we want. So we know six and a half will fit with a little trimming. So I'm going to do it three and one eighths wide. So seven and five eighths by three and one eighths. Or maybe even three. Let's start with three. I'm going to do three. And that will be the width of one of my drawers openings. So there's three. And I'm going to do two of these. And I'll show you what I'm going to do here. Okay. So then I need another one of these and all I do is lay this on top, put it on my flat surface, make sure it's nice and even, lay it down, feel the edges, make sure that they're even, and I'm going to go ahead and cut my second piece. There we go. So let's set that aside. So these two pieces are going to be the bottom section. So these are going to go in here and I'm going to glue them to the side of the box like that. And that is going to be my first part and then I'm going to make a piece that, of my shelf and it's going to sit on the tops of these two pieces and then whatever remaining pieces left I'm going to cut two more smaller pieces and they will slide in on top of my shelf so that's going to hold my shelf in place we also need to cut one more of these if we're going to have a divider and I normally put the divider on the top and have the bigger drawer on the bottom so I'm going to cut two for the bottom one piece for the shelf and then I'm going to cut three pieces the same width for the top. Hope that makes sense. So what we can do is we can glue these two pieces in. I'm just going to grab my other bottle of Fabri-Tac. Okay. And grab my little ball here. Okay, so what we're going to do is add some glue to these. And I just started with the basic three inches because I can improvise the top and make it fit perfectly. So there's our first one. And we're just going to turn the box on its side and set this one inside, right flat with the bottom of the box, and push it all the way back. Move my rulers and stuff. And that's going to be the shelf of the box. So there's one. Let's do the second one. Okay, and again, we're going to set that in, side the box, right up against the side, and push down, and make sure it's just right in there perfectly along the bottom of the box. And we're just going to push down, and sometimes um, the fabric tack dries fairly quickly. I have these little irons and I sometimes will put those in there just to let them set for about two minutes and I'll flip the other side. In the meantime we're going to cut our shelf. So let's just push this out of the way and I'm just going to flip that over real quick. Put that in there. Okay so now we're going to need, I'm going to use the thicker piece of chipboard because I want a sturdy shelf. 
and our shelf is going to be seven and five eighths wide by eleven and one eighths wide. And this is pretty thick chipboard. I'm going to use this piece that's kind of got a, a funky bit to it. Let's cut this piece off just right about there. I'm going to cut this. this. So this was from a binder, so I'm just going to cut about two inches off. And I'll save this piece because I can use that for a... Um, a side of a drawer or something like that. So and this one will take a little bit more and again don't push on the chipboard really hard when you're cutting it because all it does is it makes the seam squish together and it's harder to slide your knife. So you're just doing nice light strokes. I would say pushing maybe a four or five out of ten and you're just going to keep going along the chipboard. The thicker the chipboard the harder it is to get through. So you just want to pull it smoothly and towards you. There we go. And I can feel it's pretty much cut. It's usually at the top that I... There you go. So that's come off. So now we want it 7 and 5 eighths. So we're going to mark it 7 and 5 eighths. And this will be the biggest piece of... This is about what the size of your bottom drawer will be. Okay, and again, we're going to cut this piece off. And slowly, because you don't want that knife to slide off the ruler and cut you. I do have another ruler that I will sometimes use, and I will show you that. It has a safety cutting edge, and it's probably the best ruler to use when you're cutting a chipboard. And I should be using it. Go. So that piece has come off. So that is the the depth of my shelf. Now I need it to be that 11 and 1 8 And I may have to trim it a little bit. So let's just go from this side. So 11 and 1 8 It may need a little trimming, but let's go with that measurement. I'm just going to measure it again just to be sure. 11 and it might even be a little bit more. I think it's 11 and a quarter. I want to make sure. So I'm going to go 11 and a quarter and then I can trim it back. So always measure twice, cut once. So let's go ahead and cut that piece. And as you get closer to the sides when you're cutting, they go a little faster for some reason. I don't know why. But the closer to the edge, the faster it cuts through. See? <laughs> okay, so that is going to be our shelf. So let's see if we can take this out. So now we have our box with our two pieces on the side here. And then this piece is going to slide inside the box. Like that. And it's going to sit on that little shelf that we just made, those little pieces. So I'm going to add some glue. Now I don't think my box is very square. Six and three eighths. One, two, oh, pretty much. Maybe it's just my board. So that's going to be one of our shelves. And then this one we're going to have a divider here and our two side pieces. So all I'm going to do now as I'm going to put glue along the back, so when I slide it in, it'll hit the back of the box. And then I'm going to put glue underneath on the edge where it hits those ledges. And now if you want to, you can add another piece across the back here, but you really don't need to. Um, it's, to again, totally up to you. Maybe you can use this little scrap piece, but I didn't for my first one, so I'm not going to worry about it for this one. So let's put our back glue on. here. And then we are putting glue along the edges on the bottom. Well, 
where our little shelves are going to sit. Alright, like that. And the glue is on the back. So we're going to put this in on an angle so it's not touching the sides. And then we're going to slide it in place. And then you want to push it to the back of the box once it's in place. Like that. So you now have your long bottom drawer there. So then I take my ruler and I'm going to measure again the top piece for these side panels. So we're going to need three and a quarter. Three and a quarter by seven and five eighths, and we're gonna need three of them. Okay, so I'm gonna use my thinner chipboard again, the corrugated, and I'm just gonna cut this little end piece off where the holes were. And the knife. That's cut off. So you want seven and five eighths wide. Okay, so let's cut that. And you can tell this is the corrugated because it, <laughs> you get little pieces of paper on the end of your knife. Okay. And then we need them three and a quarter inches high. So I'll cut my first piece and I'll make sure it fits properly and then I will use that as a template for my other two pieces. There we go. So now this is going to slide in here and we're going to glue that in place. So that makes our side of our box sturdier and it gives you the same width of the box on the bottom drawer as it does on the top two drawers. And again we're going to have one here as your divider and another one on this side. So we have three of these pieces. So I'm just going to go ahead and use it as my template. Make sure it's even, feel the edges. Do it slowly the first couple times and then there you go. I'm going to cut one more. The sharper the knife, the easier the cut. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and glue these to the sides using my Fabri-Tac. Now for my boxes, I'm not going to be setting anything on top of my boxes, so I'm not worried about the thickness of the top of the box. This. But if you're worried that you might set something on top, then you can, before covering it and before doing the next steps, you can actually add another layer of um, cardboard on top. And you can use chipboard, you can use corrugated, whatever you want to use, but um, I'm just going to leave it the thickness of the, the box because these are going to fit on my bookshelf and they really haven't got a lot of room for me to add anything on top of them. Um, you can add a little, maybe a little drawer on top that sits open on the top. Oops, get caught on something. And there we go. That's our other side. Again, we're going to turn it sideways and push those into place. And it just fits nice and snugly and it holds that shelf in place. Helps to hold that shelf in place. So there we go. We got our two sides. And then for this one, I'm going to measure where the center is and I'm going to mark it on the outsides of the box 
and then I'm going to glue this guy in and I'm going to push down and hold that in. So we're going to put glue on the top, the back, and the bottom. But let's measure for the center of the box first. So let's say for this one we need, it's exactly 11 inches, so five and a half and exactly 11 inches, so five and a half. So I'm just marking little marks on here. Now don't worry about that, we're going to be covering up the edges with something, so I'm not worried about those showing. So we're just going to add some glue to the edge. And if you want to use thicker cardboard and um, for the divider, you can use two pieces of this, of this chipboard and glue them together for stability. But I'm just using this one thickness. Like that. And then one more. Put some glue on this side. You want to make sure you have enough glue on the edges here. Okay, and I got enough on the back. And then I'm just going to follow those two marks and I'm going to push them apart a little bit so that they, they don't stick to the surface. And I'm going to place it on my bottom one first and then my top one. And then you're going to push it down to the back just until it grabs. I'm going to put the lid on my glue here. Like that. And then I'm going to flip this up. And I'm just going to push on from the bottom and the top. My hand is inside the box and I'm pushing these two together. pretty straight. It looks okay. It doesn't look like it's off center or anything. And you can mark it in there if you want to, but again, these are just quick doors that we're using as a recycling. So there is your outside of your box. We're going to create two drawers that fit inside and one big long bottom drawer. Like that. So there's our divider. And there's our, this is a thicker wall because we've added the pieces inside and then we have our our shelf here and our top and our bottom and again if you want to secure the top and add another piece there and your bottom you go ahead and add another piece of cardboard but for what I'm using them for I really don't need that extra cardboard there so I'm just going to let this dry a little bit and then we will start on covering now let's we'll create the drawers and then we'll do all the um, edges after that so let's let that dry I'll be right back <laughs> 